Hey, how you doing? Sam here with your latest affiliate marketing video. And in this video, we are going to be going through how to use Facebook free for affiliate marketers. Now let's get in. So hey, look, I hope you had a great day. Today, I really wanna dive into Facebook and what it's all about and how to go about using this strategy to start generating $100 per day on free traffic from Facebook, okay? Now, I'm gonna be completely and openly 100% honest with you, okay? The truth of the matter is, is that I'm well aware of this strategy, I've applied it, I've made money, but it is not my favorite method of doing it, okay? Because I have other methods and strategies that I believe makes uh, brings in bigger money and works a lot better for me. With that being said, that is my personality and my preference. At the end of the day, we're building an online business, and so what you choose to do is completely up to you, but I'm going to share the strategy anyway, all right? Now, let's dive into it. I'm just gonna open up my notepad right here real quick, and we're gonna start diving into this. So the very very first thing that you want to do, as I've discussed here, is to be able to pick a niche. Now, what exactly is a niche? A niche is basically the idea that you can figure something out or you can teach somebody something that is related to what is called a market, right? So how do you differentiate between the two is a key thing because most people dive into markets, not necessarily niches, and it is way too competitive. So here's what I'm going to share with you. A niche... <clears throat> A market is health and fitness, okay? Or even health on in and of itself can be a market and fitness can be a, a market as well because they are big enough, but vegan fitness could be a niche, right? Um, strength training is a niche and so on and so forth. So what you basically need to do is you need to decide on what market it is that you wanna get into. Um, health, fitness, business, um, social media marketing, uh, paid advertising, right? And then you wanna niche it down. You wanna niche it down into, into more specific categories that you can basically own and dominate, okay? So for example, instead, like I said before, instead of health and fitness, you could look at fitness. Instead of just fitness because it's too broad, you could look into vegan fitness or you could look into strength training. Um, instead of uh, building an online business, you could focus on Facebook strategies. You could focus on Instagram marketing. You could focus on paid advertising. You, fo you could focus on membership areas. There are so many different things that you can go into, but at the end of the day, First and foremost, you need to go from a market into a niche, all right? So the second thing that we need to dive into is to pick a product. And this is where I'll go into a little bit deeper about this. The reason I didn't touch too much upon the niche is because I've actually already got a full blown article on my blog and I've actually got a video here on face uh, on YouTube that you can check out to learn everything that you need to learn about finding yourself a niche as opposed to a market. So how do you go about finding these different products? How do you go about finding something that you can actually market that you can start making money from? So the first thing you need to do is is, is to go to websites that you can actually find things to promote, okay? There are four in particular that I want to touch upon. ClickBank, Amazon, JVZoo, and Max Bounty. These are four very big affiliate marketing websites. Depending on what niche you're in, you should be able to find something to market from any one of these platforms. Each platform has its own strength and weakness. Each platform has its own set of products, and it is up to you to discover what it is that you want to do and start making money from in order to dive into that particular niche, okay? So if we just have a look at J uh, ClickBank here, for example, you can click here and go into the affiliate marketplace, okay? And this is where you'll find all kinds of products in all different areas. So when I was talking before about um, markets and niches, this, for example, this is a market, 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 market. And then you can break it down even further by clicking these and then they drop down into different niches, right? So business and investing is a big market. Commodities is a niche. Debt is a niche. Derivatives is a niche. E economics is a niche, okay? So just going to Amazon or just going to Mark to ClickBank alone will help you narrow down what it is that you're trying to figure out what to do, okay? Now, you might be wondering, how do you find a niche that is big enough? And it is a very good question. And I'll tell you my own personal story. I spent five years diving in into a sub niche, right? I dived into a micro niche without even really realizing. I knew it was a niche, but I thought it was a micro niche and I thought it was big enough to be able to build a six figure business on. Now, could I have built a six figure business? Yes, and I probably would have had to spend 10 years doing it and it would probably continue to fluctuate, you know, anywhere between seven, eight, nine, and ten thousand dollars a year, depending on how well of, uh, uh, it performed on what I actually dived into. And it was very, very difficult to 
scale that business. And what I mean by scale is being able to push it, you know, from five fig, five thousand a month to ten thousand a month to twenty thousand a month to fifty thousand a month. It was very, very difficult because of that particular niche and the rules that are, are based around, you know, online marketing and so on and so forth. I didn't know that at the time. I wish I'd known that before I dived into it, I would have saved myself five years of work. So I completely understand why you asked that question and you really, really should. Okay. So make sure you dive into it. And the reason you know it's a big enough niche is that you can go into these different things. For example, you could go into betting systems and you could go, um, okay, football, general, horse racing, poker, poker soccer, or casino betting, uh, table games, betting systems, anything in these, you know, different categories are big enough to make multiple six figures from. You can do the same thing with Amazon, okay? So without diving into any products here, because you've basically got the idea. Essentially, you find what, what, uh, what niche you want to get into, you click on it, um, and that particular thing, uh, once that opens up, you, you go into all the different areas. So you want to talk about abuse or dating or eating disorders or marriage and relationships. Say, for example, you want to focus on abuse, right? Maybe you've got ex uh, uh, experience in that particular thing and you want to dive into it and it's something that you really want to help people with. Well, here you go. You've got a couple of products already. Now, obviously, this isn't a big performing niche in terms of ClickBank, okay? It tells you that there is money to be made because right away, best sexual edition, um, addiction treatment system okay i don't know why we ended up there and i don't necessarily want to go further into it but <laughs> it just goes to show that there's money to be made in anything as long as you do your research and you make sure that it is a big enough um niche okay so if we click on this right here it'll bring up uh, i'm just going to go into the usa because i know most of the people on my channel find me are from the usa okay so what you can actually do here is shop by department and as you can see here these these are all markets okay amazon cloud um, health and beauty toys kids and then these over th things over here are what i call niches these are all different niches that you can go into so instead of just talking about toys kids and a baby you could go into clothing and shoes for girls uh toys uh toys and games arts and crafts building games um, you could go baby uh, baby toys or baby care right these are all different niches that you can dive into now once you click on this particular product or that particular niche sorry it brings up all the different products that one can promote in that particular niche now I don't know why we ended up with babies it's probably not very helpful for you but what I'm basically saying is that look if you if you decide to make a YouTube channel and there are YouTube channels out there there are vlogs out there that my kids follow that are massive and they have a huge influence on my kids my kid wanted to buy just a couple of weeks ago a toy that was $110 all it was was a baby aquarium with three or four accessories and it was going to cost $110 and it was only available through Amazon hint hint and they wanted to buy it because these vloggers were using it. That's how influential you can be. If you maybe want to dive into the family vlogging side of things or personal vlogging side of things, reviewing toys, this could be a way of going about doing it. You review a toy, you talk about what you like about it, what you don't like about it, and you have a link in your description and then you go about providing that link from Amazon and you get a sale right of anywhere between three and 10% depending on what product it is that you're actually promoting that particular time. So with that being said, that's how you go about doing it on Amazon. Now you have an idea on Amazon and as well as ClickBank. So with JVZoo, it's essentially the same thing. You go to the marketplace, you click on this here, and then it brings up all the different products that are available. I will say about JVZoo, however, it is majority, um, uh, digital products. Okay. So if you, if you're looking to build like an online business or something along those lines, this is the place that you will want to come. You can see here things like this, look, animation, studio, commercial, graphic design, academy, uh, I am, which is internet marketing checklist, volume eight messenger marketing. So there are a lot of, um, digital products on here. And this is basically the way Clickbank started. And then about a year to a year and a half ago, well, I shouldn't say that because I don't know when you're going to catch this video, but in a pro in roughly mid 2016, end of 2016, they started doing physical products and now they've blown up in, into that into that um, market, right? Into physical products market. And so now they've got different niches on the physical product side of things. So depending on what you want to do, you'll want to look at different platforms depending on what it is that you want to promote, right? So if you want to do digital products, you can look at uh, Max Bounty, which we will talk about next. Um, you can look at JVZoo and you can look at ClickBank. If you want to do physical products, you, you'd want to look at um, Amazon and you want to look at JVZoo. And I'm sure there are stuff on Max Bounty as well, but I'll be honest, it is the market, it is the marketplace that I 
have the least amount of experience on. I've been on here, I've played with it, I've sent offers out, but at the same time, like I have a very, very small amount of experience. But this is the place you would go. This is cost per acquisition marketing. This can be really, really powerful if you know what you're doing. So basically the idea is, is that you get people to, to sign up for something in particular. It could be like a $1 trial, $2 trial, you know, $7 trial, free trial. And they that company will pay you for people signing up to that particular thing. Now, the only thing I will say about cost per acquisition marketing is that it can be a very difficult game to gain, make big money on for obvious reasons, right? People will sign up to free uh, to free things, uh, but not necessarily there. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get a cut for the bigger products that they sell. So they might be offering something for a dollar, say for example, and that might sound enticing to you as a marketer because you can offer something really, really cheap. It basically means nothing, being the one dollar offer. But here's the thing. If they make a five thousand dollar sale and from your particular lead and you get zero dollars out of it, is it really worth you dabbling in? That's for you to decide on what particular business model you want to build and how you want to go about creating exactly what it is that you're creating. Okay. So step number three is to your profile. So we're talking about using Facebook uh, for free traffic for affiliate marketing, right? So we need to touch on Facebook and how to go about using it. So the very first thing I'll talk about is your profile. So diving into one's profile here, this is my profile, okay? My profile is very friendly, family friendly because I'm focusing on building an online business that is based around the understanding that you can have a family, you can have a full-time job, and you can still do this hustle on the side and make good money, all right? That's the brand that I'm building. The person that I market to is not a you know, 17, 18, 19-year-old who you know wants to make $100,000, who wants to do nothing but absolutely but, but build a business over the next six months. You know, He doesn't care if he doesn't sleep, he doesn't eat. No, no, that's not my market. So if that's you, um, it's probably, it, it could be why you're thinking, well, maybe this is not for me. That would be why, because I'm talking to a very specific person. So you want to use your profile in such a manner. So as, you, as I scroll here, you'll see that I post things that are related to family. I, I, I talk about things that are related to success. I, I do valuable quotes. I do, as you can see here, I do um, what we call value posts. And, and you can see the engagement is quite great. You know, 37, uh, 38, 39, 39 likes. And we've got three more comments. One, two, three, four. So we, we've, we've got seven people commenting just on this one post, right? And it's the same thing here. Like I said, quotes and valuable posts and something along this line. I share my personal story so that people can connect with me in terms of what I am and what I'm all about. And at the end of the day, it's about telling the truth, sharing your story in a manner that builds a brand that you can do on social media. Okay. That's how you go about using your profile. Now, how do you use your profile to get leads and stuff like that to your particular business? Let's just say, for example, you're in the, um, you decide to get into the online marketing space, okay? So what you can do is once a day, maybe even twice a day, is that you can post valuable tips to your profile so that people can realize what it is that you're talking about and resonate it with you, with you, okay? The other thing you'll need to do is go into Facebook groups, which we'll talk about a little bit later, and connect with the right people because they're the ones who your message is gonna resonate with. There are only so many of your friends and your family that are actually gonna follow exactly what it is that you're saying. Majority of them are not even gonna to listen to you because they know you in a specific light. They don't know you as a business uh, person, as an entrepreneur, as someone who can make money online. But people who don't know you, they're gonna start following your profile and go, well, this dude, actually knows what he's talking about. So he's the person that I want to follow. And when they've got questions, they'll come to you, right? That's called attraction marketing, value-based direct response driven marketing, which is what I choose to do. It's, it's, a, it's a mouthful. I hate telling people that, but at the end of the day, that's what it is. You're doing value marketing. You're providing value out to people. You're, you're connecting with them and you're engaging with them on a level that nobody else is necessarily doing in their life. And so you become the unwritten authority, the unspoken authority. You don't need to say it. It just you just put on that pedestal, right? Just like there are people that are watching this video going, oh, wow, this Sam guy really knows what he's talking about on Facebook. But I can tell you based on people that I know that make seven, eight figures on Facebook, I don't know nothing compared to them, right? So that's the angle from which I'm coming from. You can be an authority by simply deciding to be and providing value to people. You only need to be one step ahead of somebody else to be able to help them along in their particular journey, all right? So let's just turn back to our magic board here. Fan pages. So fan pages is something that I wanted to touch upon briefly. I do actually have a fan page and I'm gonna click on it here and just show you exactly what is going on. Now, I I don't like fan pages. I don't believe that they are. You can even see, I haven't even updated my picture. Look, my hair is longer than it is, way longer than it is here. But this picture is like over it probably like a year and a half old now. But look, I do have 2,352 people um, that have liked this page. 
Uh, but I don't do a lot on it. Why? Because you have to pay in order to reach your audience, which is why I don't tell anyone to build a fan page unless you've got like a small local business, okay? In which case, yes, you could actually build a fan page. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. But for me personally, what I would say is that you want to focus more on groups and your personal profile because fan pages are for people who have a lot of money who just want to build brand awareness. You know, Ty Lopez, um, Grant Cardone, you know, Tony Robbins, individuals like this who have got millions of dollars, a ton of resources, they can just smash at this thing. And I'll, I'll tell you the truth, even um, Grant Cardone came, came out a few months ago and basically said, I'm planning to leave my fan, my Facebook fan, uh, fan page because it is going so ridiculous in terms of the reach um, that you have to pay just to reach people who've already liked the page. I mean, I don't understand. If people like the page, they're obviously interested. And if they don't like the information you're sharing anymore, they should just be able to unlike the page and stop following, right? Well, that's not the case. Facebook wants you to pay in order to play. Then, and it's their platform, so there's literally like nothing you can do about it. Right, so let's touch on the next point that we got here, which is groups. So when it comes to Facebook groups, I think there is a lot of money to be made uh, with groups. I'll just bring up a little group here that I've got going on with my friends. Now, this is not to make money, but I'll just show you like the level that, uh, of engagement that can come from these groups. So a friend of mine's Adrian Padula, he posted this and look, it's got 32 comments. Uh, it was seen by 15 people and look at how small the group is. There's only 20 people in this group. You don't think if I find a product that is super, super helpful on ClickBank or on Amazon that I couldn't post this product here. And because the engagement is so high, look, I'll show you another one. Look, seen by 13 people, 13 out of 20 there's six comments on one little post and all it says is good morning you know um this was a post of mine that that i that i put out and it's got one two three four likes it's got five comments was seen by 14 people in just a group of 20 people okay and now here's the thing the, the power with groups comes in engagement. You have to be willing to engage if you're going to build a group. I know people who have built, you know, 50,000 people in a group. Um, I know people who have grown 100,000 people in a group, but I know people who have grown, um, uh, how many is it? At, the, at this point in time, I would say about 150 people in a group and they have made more from more in that 150 than like, I, I would say probably five groups that I know of that have over 50,000 people in each group. Right, that 150 has made more. The idea is not to go this gigantic big group, but to build something that is engaging, irrespective of whether it's 100 or 100,000. The goal, the goal is to have a group that is engaging, that people actually engage with you and what it is that you're doing. So, irrespective of what market you're in, you can find groups that you can be a part of because you're probably wondering, how do I go about finding these people in order to to push them into the next step, which is a funnel? Okay, so. The people that you want to add as a friend are people that are related to your niche. So let's just say, for example, um, I'm in the online marketing space, right? So <clears throat> let me just show you exactly how this is done. And for the, everyone everyone who has an online business out there, you can do the same thing. So you type in whatever your, your keyword is, you type it in here. And once the results come up, then you go across here into groups. You click on that and it brings up all the groups that has online marketing in it. So I'll just bring up one, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I'll just bring up one of these groups like this one, for example, here's a huge one, 77,000 groups. Now, chances are this is the kind of group that has a lot of people and they're all kind of just spamming what it is that they want to offer. And they're not the kind of people that you want to kind of really engage with. I mean, but at the end of the day, look, 2,338 people in one group in one day, right? Uh, sorry, new, new posts uh, in the last 30 days, 2,338. You don't think you could make some sort of money from 2,338 posts Today, that's insane. There's over look. There's over ten thousand posts in the last thirty days. I I, I beg to, to to go as far as there's probably more than twenty thousand posts in the last thirty days. Maybe even thirty thousand. Right? Look at the two thousand average. So look, basically the idea is you join these groups and then you engage with people. When you see when you see real engagement, not not people you know just offering like a business opportunity, for example, um, you want to go into groups that people are actually asking questions, they're actually posting uh, different strategies and, and things like that, and you want to engage with them, okay? So the people that are asking questions are the ones that you want to engage with the most, okay? And I'll give you a strategy. The ones you want to add to groups and then you want to turn on notifications. So say, for example, I'll just go into um, I'll just go into a group here, let's say Omad Dad. Um, as you can tell, I'm, I'm on a pretty big uh, fitness kick at the moment. If you click on this, you turn on all posts okay so that basically every notification every time someone posts every time someone you know uh 
sorry, every time someone posts, uh, add creates a new post in the group you get a notification so if you ever see that there's like a question the people that are asking questions are the one that are serious about it and the people that know that they have problems that they need to do something about it and you can be the solution to that particular problem by providing the the, the connection the answer and so on and so forth this is how you provide value so what you do is you go into these group you answer people's questions as they post them or you know you could have your own time frame. For example, you, you might want to say, look, I don't want to sit on Facebook all day, you know, answering questions. I totally get it. I don't do that. Okay. But what you could do is say, I'm going to dedicate 30 to 60 minutes every single day answering questions in, you know, these five different groups. They're, they're really, really awesome. They're very helpful. There's some really smart people in there. But at the same time, there are a lot of people asking questions that aren't being answered. You could be the person that answers those questions. And therefore, you become the authority in that particular niche. And that's how you make your sales. Because once you answer that question, you um, and, and they actually respond to you, then you know you've you've grabbed you've grabbed their attention. Okay, that's strategy number one. Add them as a friend, and now now you're seen in a different light because you've been able to help their particular problem. Strategy number two is that everyone who likes a post, you know that they're engaged in the group, you know that they're interested in that particular topic, and you've got an answer for it. So what you do is you add every single person um, who has liked that post, and you engage with every single person who has commented on that post in the same manner. This way, you're building a bunch of people that are interested in one particular thing that you can now start networking around. And by you, I, I, I'm guaranteeing you, I'm telling you this much, by you being the person who answers questions, by you being the one who posts on your Facebook profile, profile on a daily basis, you are seen automatically as the authority, the person who can help them overcome their issues. And when you post something on your personal profile, and it could be something as simple as, as this, let's let's just do this real quick here. Say for example, like I'm, I'm known as the online niche, as, as the online marketing guy, right? So I could just say, I've just just uh, I've just created uh, just created a video teaching you how to make a hundred dollars per day uh, with free Facebook traffic that you can start immediately. Then I'll just go um, comment below info and I'll share with you the link, right? Bingo, done. And, and, and in doing that, when I post this, there will be people who will like and comment info, and then I just go ahead and send them a message here on Messenger, and that will connect with them, and, and what, I, what I'll be doing will resonate with them, right? So that's the idea. And then basically, what I want to do here is send people to what is known as a funnel, all right? So this is the final step. Basically, the idea is is to send people to a very specific page that is going to help answer their question. I'll give you an example of a funnel. Well, this is actually a landing page, right? But this is an example of a funnel and how it actually works. Yes, I want to leave. And so how would you, 100% free online uh, course, how would you like to create a $4,000 plus uh, month in passive recurring income in 100 days or less? Sounds too good to be true. Enter your email below and I will prove it to you. You know, your privacy is, is very important to us. So email is secure. Now, so this is a landing page. I and mean, when once someone goes in here and puts in their email address, that then they click send me free access to the course they are now on my email list which I can email them on a daily basis they're going to go through my my funnel initially right which has got an auto responder that's going to basically try and convince them that this is the best tool for their particular problem and how to go about utilizing it okay this is one way to go about doing it the other way is just to do it through Facebook messages um, as long as you don't mind spending time messaging people individually when they ask questions and then providing them that link say hey look I found this tool that's really really helpful it's 100% free I want you I want you to take advantage of it if, if you're interested okay then when they interest send, send them send them this URL here or send them whatever link that you found that you're going to share and that's going to bring them into your funnel and that's how you start making sales you follow up uh, once they go through the auto auto responder sequence put them onto a daily uh, onto a regular list and then email them you know three four five times per week daily if you can continuing to provide more and more value to what it is that you do and then provide the solution in that email. I'm not going to go into email marketing in this video. It is the outside, it is outside the scope of this video. I've got videos on my channel that talk about that. Okay, if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. I'll, I'll even put a link in the description of this particular video for that uh, email marketing for you to go ahead and check out. Okay, if that's what you're interested in. And so basically the idea is, 
is that it takes seven times for someone to see something before they actually say yes on average for some people it's one for some people it's 50 but on average it comes down to seven okay so you want to be able to market to them and show them the offer again and again and again and then once you're interested you can start making money all right so that's how you go about making money free on Facebook all you affiliate marketers out there, I urge you to go about applying this strategy. This is something, you know, don't don't take this for granted. This is a strategy that is that is taught by, you know, six and seven and eight figure earners in, in online marketing that go about teaching these things to their people through paid traffic, okay? I'm uh, sorry, through, uh, through, through paid courses. And I'm here giving it to you 100% free, all right? I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like this. Do me a favor. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know that to create more of this type of content for you, okay? Facebook marketing is going to be something that I talk about more and more as the time goes on. More importantly, do yourself a favor and subscribe and comment on this video. And what I'll do is I'll put you into my draw to get my one of my $497 courses, 100% free. Compliments of yours truly. I will give it to you for free just for engaging on my YouTube channel, okay? I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Take care, much love, and I will see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.